Hi, I'm Natasha. I will be telling a story of how I interviewed a good friend of mine on her own experience on inclusion. A bit of a background story, we've been such good friends since high school and we both felt comfortable enough to tell each other about everything. So here's how it goes. I had a call with her recently and we talked about our dating life. She is someone who is very private about her dating life until one day she told me about how she identified herself as a pansexual, meaning that, that a person may be attracted to men, women, as well as people who are non-binary and so on. Pansexuality is not just limited to sexual attraction, but can also involve in a romantic attraction. They wouldn't feel that gender or sex were determining factors in their sexual or emotional attractions. Her journey of self-discovery has not always been easy, especially living in a country where they do not support the LGBTQ community. It has led her to difficult positions, whether that is rejection from society or being misunderstood. Till this day, she hasn't come out to her parents, as it's clear to her that her parents are against it. Considering coming from an Asian household where it's seen as a threat to the traditional cultural values and gender roles of the Asian community. When she opened up to me, it felt like we stepped into a new level of friendship where she felt comfortable and trusted me enough to open up about her sexuality, which I felt really grateful for. I totally support and accept her for who she is and that doesn't affect our friendship. She helped me understand how it is to be in her shoes and that gave me a wider view of the world. From my personal experience, my parents never discussed about people having other sexualities other than being straight. Until a few weeks ago, my parents were concerned that I hang out with one of my girlfriends too much to the point they opened up a conversation with me telling that they were scared I would turn into a lesbian. That took me off guard and I told them that, I, that I'm straight and that gave them a huge relief. That's when I realized that they too are against it. I consider myself as someone who's curious of how people view the world and how the world has shaped them to the person they are now. Listening to her story, I realize how important it is to listen without judgments. When we listen without any judgment, we are opening ourselves to learn about the uniqueness and differences around us that makes us human. Just like us adults, children have the right to be heard. As Morrison would say, when we listen and value children's views and opinions and foster opportunities for all children to express themselves, children will feel heard and accepted. One of the most important inclusive practices in early childhood is to practice deep listening where we give children our undivided attention and our whole, our whole heart to listen to them and validate their thoughts and feelings. Children need to feel a sense of belonging, being, and becoming. According to Pierce and Fleer, it's crucial for a child to feel a sense of belonging as it plays a very important role in their human capital development as a fundamental human right. In this case, breaking down social justice issues by ensuring that children see everyone as equal, capable, and unique individuals regardless of their differences. It's important for all educators to be open to learn and update our knowledge on social justice issues in order to create a safe environment for all families, children, and staff involved to implement inclusive practices.